four. Yeah, I'm on the so really God, looking just... forward to drinking. Yes. <laughs> yeah, actually, me too. You know, I'm not a big drinker, but today was a day. I am actually speaking ironically. I do okay, not feel well. like drinking, right. but well. here I am. Well, either way, I hope you make me a drink. Okay. So, uh, a little secret. Yeah. I've, uh, uh, I usually just take a tiny <laughs> sip and to drink the rest of it. It's all movie so, magic. Yeah. Well, it's I do that. taste it just to tell you, you know, yeah. give you the, That's legit. the 411. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, so, we'll get into it and yep. then uh, we'll talk about our. So, my YouTube playlist or whatever mm -hmm. numbers came out and her Spotify, Spotify she knows those, yeah. Because <laughs> so. everybody is doing the Spotify thing. No. I so just a note, side note here, because Shauna went to all the trouble to do this, and I'm sure that the reason that she did it is because of the this like so I have grown I'm just gonna tear it. Oh look it's matches. Anyway, so I have grown these balloon flowers before and never did I realize the roots were edible right and apparently um they are a Korean garden I know that's what I thought flavorsome roots are a Korean specialty interesting that's those are beautiful magic I so love a you may butterfly people that have been with us for since the beginning probably know that Shauna was also gifted matches yeah all right I'm gonna get some on yes Johnny Drum. Never heard of that. Green Label Bourbon. Green? Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. It smells like Evan Williams. Like white peanut. Yeah, it tastes like, doesn't really taste like Himalayans, but it's got a little, you know, a little sweetness to it, a little pepper. Yeah, no. I cannot tell you how ill that stuff makes me, well, maybe not ill, but just like the smell, it gives me goosebumps. So tell me about your, or your, your playlist. So Spotify um, told me that I listen to, so I think Chamber Pop was what they told me my biggest genre was. My number one artist was um, Talking Heads. Nice. Yeah, and that was, my peak listening month was October, which makes sense. I'm then, surprised mine wasn't Talking Heads. I know. Uh, I'm surprised anyway. that Tori got there because she. So I've been listening to Tori since I, you know, everybody since I was like four, third, twelve. <laughs> and then number three is Rolling Stone. Number four is a band that I just heard of this year because I was in the back of this Uber and I was like, "What is this?" And it's the cinematic. I guess he's an Australian guy. Goes by the Walking Who. Um, Big up to my Uber driver for recommending and letting me hear, like, introducing me to that in the back of an Uber. Anyway, PJ Harvey was February. Talking Heads, Tori Amos, The Rolling Stones, The Walking Who, and PJ Harvey. Cool. So mine, I listened to, my number one band was, um... Was it Nirvana? No. It was number two. Thing. So it was no, that was actually I don't think Nirvana made Nirvana was my number one song, yeah. something in the way that tells you she a lot drunk about and like if I hear don't talk about Oh this. my god, if I hear you playing that, I'm like he's sad and drunk. Yeah, I was laid off this year, so lay off man. Yes, yes, <laughs> but yeah, so but I am employed now, so no 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 big. Yeah. But it was my number one song. But then my number, so my number one band was Fleetwood Mag. Right. And they had two songs on there. It was like uh, Seven Wonders, and, mm -hmm. which seems appropriate, yeah. right? Uh, my number two band was Aldous Harding. Um, whole 
was on there. Um, and I remember the breeders and it said I was in the top 0.1% of breeders listeners, mm -hmm. uh, which is I know, shout out to the breeders. So yeah, that was, uh, that was my list. Yeah. So that's, uh, it's day four, I guess. So we'll, uh, check in tomorrow. See you tomorrow.